Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Hit On Miss TV. Today on the show, I've got my wonderful sister here with me, and we're gonna be watching The Hunger Games. The movie stars Jennifer Lawrence, Josh Hutchinson, and it's got Woody Harrelson. I've always loved Woody Harrelson. You know Woody Harrelson? Yeah. You don't love him like I love him. I no. love I love Woody Harrelson. White men can't Ditto. jump. That's him, isn't it? That's, no, Ditto, that's... Yeah, that with, what's, um, Bruce Willis's ex-wife, Redman. Mean... Yeah, with oh, Robert Redman, that that's is? Ditto. Oh, when he... oh, Indecent Proposal. Is that's that... him. Of course, yeah, yeah, no, no, but Woody's a G, like, he's... Ditto. Oh, no, <laughs> Woody's a G. And it's an Elizabeth Banks. What do you know about the Hunger Games films? What Nothing. do you know? Nothing. Something to do with they've all got to go into a, a game and win. That's literally my intelligence on that. Matter. And I'm basically forcing her to watch this because I've seen, there's four movies, but I've seen this maybe, I'm not going to lie, it's a girl's film, but I've seen this. Really? This is a girl's film. I thought it was a boy's film. No, this is a... Well, I've never watched no, it. No, this is a girl's film. This is why I'm it's supposed... It's not a love story. You will love this. Okay. It's a girly movie. This is not a boy's movie at all. But I've seen it, all of them, maybe four or five times, and I just love it. It's so wonderful. It's just great. You'll recognise a lot of people in it. Lenny Kravitz is in it. He's amazing in it. Let, trust me. Lenny Kravitz is a G in this. I've led a show to life then, obviously, haven't I? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, here we are with The Hunger Games Part 1. Let's do this. It's a bit scary, so you Shut might jump. Up. You just told me it was a girl's film. Eh? You told me it was a girl's film. It is a girl's film. From the Treaty of Treason, in penance for their uprising, each district shall offer up a male and female between the ages of 12 and 18 at a public reaping. It's your first year, Prim. Your name's only been in there once. They're not going to pick you. I'll try to go to sleep. I can't. This is the main reason I like her, to be honest. She's fucking awesome in this. Like, she's sick. I'll still cook you. <laughs> <laughs> there, you there you go. This is what she's like. She's fucking great. Could you do that if you needed to eat? I'd rather kill a fish than a deer or a... Why? ...pig or something. I prefer fish as well. Oh. <laughs> like, to eat. Mm. So it wouldn't, I wouldn't choose to kill, no. Get it? She's fucking sick. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she like we, she's like a female fucking Robin Hood. She's just awesome. She looks a bit like Vivian Westwood. Well, you'll see her style is very like that. Wish I looked like you. I wish I looked like you, little duck. You get it? So she's like the mum and dad of the house. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's time to sign in now. Go ahead. Is that like check for diseases or something? It must be, isn't it? I would have thought like it's DNA profiling to verify who they were. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's okay. The impression I'm getting. I also think he's a better actor than his brother. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> She's fucking gangster. Ladies first. Oh, it's their blood. Ah, DNA okay. DNA profiling, is it right. not? Primrose Everdeen. I volunteer! I volunteer! No! no! Oh dear. I'll do the same for you. I wouldn't. District 12 is very. <laughs> <laughs> You're older, you're meant to. I'm emotionally stronger than you. No way. You're physically stronger. Yeah, you're mentally stronger, yeah. I'd do it. I'd go on a psycho one, though. First volunteer, Katniss Everdeen. She's up there with Ripley, Sarah Connor, like, she's, you'll see. And now, for the boys. Who's going to get picked? Him, of course. Peter Malark. Or is he going to volunteer? Our tributes from District 12. Well, go on, you two, shake hands. I've seen that kid before. 
Josh Hutchinson. You know films like Huckleberry Finn and stuff like that when we were a kid? Mm. He was in one of them with Elijah Wood, I'm sure of it, one of them okay. types of films. He was in all that sort of stuff. It was like kids' films when we were growing up. Do you protect you? Thank you. No matter what you feel, you have to be there for her. Do you understand? No, oh, go on, Gail. Don't cry. Because I never quite figured out, so from a woman's point of view, what's up with the mum? I never understood. So no! Finn! No! I promise, Finn. Why is the mum how she is, do you think? Right, down. Oh, right, okay, that, right, oh, okay. I thought it was something like that. Take care of them, Gail. Whatever you do, don't let them start. Let's go. I'll see you soon, okay? That's kind of like how it is in the real world anyway, rich and the poor. There are people at the top of the mm. food chain and there's people at the bottom of the food chain. Fortnum and Mason's, Harrods. The key is not to be greedy. What do you mean? You go in and you're like, oh, food, 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 and then you become tired and then you're not up well, so mm. it's a little bit at a little time. I'm going to find Hamish. He's probably in the bar car. This is my hero, Woody. I'm not seeing the point of this. I'm not understanding the whole point. It will, it will, it will make sense. When you're in the middle of the games, a knife or even some matches can mean the difference between life and death. So in other words, the world's been destroyed by war and radiation. You've got a, a rich world power at the top of the food chain and to trickle down and give stuff to those in need below, they control everything by saying you sacrifice someone, two kids from your district. In other words, would you rather it just let you run riot and everyone's killing each other and stabbing each other or would you rather us keep control of everyone? Would you want us to control you but in return for that you give us a tribute of two kids from each district? In other words, it's to control people and they'll trickle down little bits of food trickle down little bits of wealth trickle down to the to the people below but up in the wealthiest state they've all got they've got everything so again it's the same as it is now the people sitting in higher places with money and power and then you've still got people living on the street how the fuck can we have homeless people in the world still but there is i know you know what i mean it's that same sort of how <laughs> do you do that i wouldn't want to be waxed by no oh well, we're just saying we might need to hose you down again before we take you to Sinna. Got it. I mean, she stinks. I'm sorry that this happened to you, and I'm here to help you in any way that I can. Mm, don't trust him. What? <laughs> and don't be afraid. I'm not afraid. <laughs> it's my sort of dress sense, though. That's what I'm saying. You should have watched these. You will. But you'll love it, you, let, you just will. Stanley Tucci is the one who made Iron Man. Yeah, he's the doctor who made Iron Man. Yeah, I'm on the right, I love him to bits. And don't you love how the stylist they so clearly? He's fucking great. <laughs> what? Why are you shaking your head? Why? Why? How can you say that? If you just said just now, I don't really get it. Now you want to shoot someone, why? It's just murder at its finest. It's like planned murder, isn't it? We salute. Tribute. Courage. For me a damn tribute. And your sacrifice. Say at the same time, say you had all of the states of America, if you could stop murdering every state by just taking two kids from every state per year, would you not do but that then, instead? No, my problem is why are they being murdered in the first place? Because that's humanity. You can't stop humans being humans. But this, yeah. See what I mean? That's what. Yeah, I that's understand what where the... you're coming from, but I like to think that everybody's got a positive and. Mm, but the world ain't like that. Yeah, I know. That's what it's makes. Just... That's why I like the movie so much because it questions. So brave. Are you sure you should be near an open flame? Because it questions everything. Let's go upstairs. And look very friendly, does he? Oh, and because you're from <laughs> <Turner> shoes. <laughs> I was always jealous of that. I love that controller. Exposure can kill as easily as a knife. That sounds like fun. What weapon would you go for if that was you? You had to go, like you've you go out there and you're in the wilderness for seven days or whatever it is, a month. What would be the weapon you run to? Axe. Okay. You? Probably a knife, blade. You took my knife! Then take it off me! Just sit here. <laughs> 
In fact, they stay in the exact same apartment as you do. And I don't think they let them have dessert. And you can. Do you think they've got enough food? They win it almost every year, but oh. it can be arrogant. And arrogance can be a big problem. Yep, I agree. What do you mean? I hear you can shoot. Arrogance? Think they're better than everyone else? Doesn't mean that they are. What? He can throw a 100-pound sack of flour right over his head. I've seen it. Oh. <laughs> you know what my mother said? She said District 12 might finally have a winner. She was talking about you. Because everyone knows she's the bollocks. <laughs> I think the bow and arrow is also a very, very good weapon as well because it's close range, far range, it's, it's everything. <laughs> Smarmy pricks. That's the arrogance. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> Fucking hell. <sighs> she has spoken, ladies and gentlemen. She has. I can do that. I'll show you. See? Yeah, I think you have a shadow. Hey. Rue. Again, goes back to the same things, because what do we do? We give kids weapons, guns. It's the same shit. What do you give to little boys? Little toy guns, isn't it? Very much like gladiatory, isn't it? That's yeah. That's what. That's what it the is. Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. theme is kind yeah. of a modern day gladiator. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Gladiator. That's a, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> she missed. Aim for the food. What do you mean? Aim it at them. You see what I mean? <laughs> this is this is what I'm saying. This is women for you. What do you mean? Aim What's it at them. Do? What do you mean? Aim it at aim them. Aim it at their plate on the table. Why would you say that? Yeah, oh, she's got it. Oh, that do then. Perfect. That would annoy me. Yeah, what? look. What do you mean? Why are they... Uh, so they've not seen that she's the underdog here and she's going to win it. You arrogant assholes. That's just... You're only saying that because that's men up there. So that's sexist then. No? What? You're only saying that because it's men up there. So you're oh, sexist. hello! <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you for your consideration. Would you not think like that? No. I hope you noticed we have a serious situation. Yeah, you are. You're worse than me. You'd hit him in the head. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, you would. I don't think we're going to find this funny. Loosen your corset. Have a drink. <laughs> and finally. Katniss Everdeen. What do you think Katniss she got? Katniss Everdeen. Eleven. Five or eleven? Eleven. I should have written this film. This proves to you, fellas, women. <laughs> women are fucking mental, mate. Women. Tapped. An 11. She earned it. She shot an arrow at your head. Well, had an apple. Near your head. Oh, shut up. <laughs> this all started with giving women too many rights. This all started with you putting this film on. A little hope is effective. A lot of hope is dangerous, as long as it's contained. Got a good point, though. Totally. So, contain it. Why? Oh, he feels threatened. This kind of thing does happen at this point. There's only one winner, right? Yes, there's only one winner. No. Uh, yes, there's only one winner. That's the game. Might be the game, but you can change the rules. You can't. Yeah, you can. This is what I'm saying. Women, too much power. This guy. I like my hair that colour. He's amazing. Stanley Tucci, he's so great. District 12, you know her as the girl on fire. Katniss. Katniss Everdeen. 
Katniss Everdeen, the girl on fire. What? In fact, I'm wearing them today. Would you like to see? Is it safe? <laughs> yes. Do you know why I think it's such a clever scene? Because it makes you believe to see it from her view, and it's not even real. But you can kind of see how bullshit it all is from her perspective. I bet you want one of them. I told her that I would try to win, that I would try to win for her. And try you will. Katniss Seventeen, the girl on fire! Yeah, I don't know why I like, I just like that scene a lot. I don't know why. You did it, though. That was incredible. Thank you. <laughs> you definitely smell better than I do. Well, I've lived here longer. That makes sense. <laughs> That's why I love him. He's just fucking awesome in this. There is this one girl that I've had a crush on forever, but I don't think she actually recognized me until the reaping. Uh... I don't think winning's gonna help me at all. And why not? Because she came here with me. <laughs> That's the sort of thing you would do. <laughs> May, yeah. Let's start right now! Hey. <laughs> why don't you get out of here? Manners. Oh dear. Do you, no, but do you know what I think it is? I love it more than just a film because to me, this shows the bullshit of TV as well. The X Factor, the reality TV, oh, the, yeah. the foot Love Island. Like they're, they're all this. It's all of this. All it's bullshit. Yeah. And I think that's probably why I like this because this just shows you it's just fucking crap. It's all lies. Yeah, I just keep wishing that I could think of a way to show them that they don't own me. But they do own you. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. So how many films of these are there? There's, uh, there's four. There's this sequel and Mockingjay is the final one, but it's split in two parts. It's like one main, you know what I mean? So it's not, it's, to be honest, it's not that long. You might seem it, but it ain't really. And they're all very, very different. Very, very different in their own way, yeah. Give me your own. <laughs> of the whole thing, like we've seen all of this stuff and then you fucking flinch at a needle. Mm -hmm. You are such a chicken. You're like, oh yeah, they're all gonna go and kill each other. Little needle, woo! <laughs> what is that? What is it? Oh, oh my oh. God, see that? Oh, that wasn't a needle. That was like a fucking screwdriver in the arm. Senna, he's, my fa he's, he's one of my favorites in this. Thank you. I'm not allowed to bet. Good comment. Told you he's the bollocks. He's like her, her rock, her backbone. Where did he get that job? What job? That job. What, there? Mm. Well, he's a singer, wasn't he, Lenny Kravitz? He was. Are you going to go my way? Are you going to go my way? Yeah. No, I wasn't thinking about him. What do you mean? Per, as in the job as the dresser. He's a, he's a model, like fashion designer. Well, don't you trust him? I don't trust any of them. Oh. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Jesus. I don't trust Gosh. anyone. Oh, you're even more cautious than I am then. No, I trust. I loved him straight away. Weapon run. Yeah, assess the situation. What's the risk? What are you doing? 45. Row and arrow and an axe. 43. I can 42, only take one. 41. Grab whatever you can fucking grab. Cold-blooded killers straight away. Peter was on that. On what? He was aware of what they were going to do and he went the other way. Ah. Uh, she didn't get it, did she? She didn't get the bow. No. Good girls. Girl power. No, because it's not about... Well, it is for them, but it's not, is it? So where would you go? What would you do? I'd... Build a little hole and be like Rambo. Well, I'd listen to him go up. He said to go up. Water, up. Who said that? Ditto. Oh, did he? I won't listen. Oh, OK. Is that what you said? Run for higher ground. Ditto. Ditto. Fuck's sake. What do you mean, fuck's sake? His name's Woody not... Harrelson yeah, but ditto. it's not his name, is he's it? Ditto. It's Woody. Ditto. Well, what's she got in her bag of treats? Mars bar, cooker. PlayStation 5, can of Dr Pepper, whipped cream, coconut butter, dildo. Need to get water. 
spring if you want to play with a spring. Is that 12 dead? Or is that, tw well, yeah, it's 24, so it's half. See, she's doing a Rambo. The Fallen. So Peter's still alive. Yep, yeah, at the minute. Oh, they're playing as a gang. 13 gone in the first eight. Oh, you were right. Please don't kill me! Oh, no! Lover boy, you sure she went this way? Yeah, I'm sure. Ah. Are you sure we shouldn't just kill him now? Nah, he's our best chance of finding her. It's a bit of a bummer, isn't it? Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. What the heck was that? Helicopter. Oh, no, it's a fire. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Bastards, really, aren't they? Is her outfit fireproof? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Ouch. Well, that's got to be feel better on the leg, isn't it? Uh-oh. What? What? One, two, three, four, five, six. Loads of them are near her. Oh! You're not very observant. Oh, damn. They're getting a cannon ready, though. <laughs> that guy leading the gang is such a prick. <laughs> Go on, Katniss. Oh, bow and arrow. Not very good shots, are they? Somebody make a fire. Bit of a snake, isn't he? Well, he's biding her some time. Yeah. That looks painful. Even that ain't real, it still looks really painful. So he's working his magic, trying to get a little uh, something something for her. It's like the little things at the beginning of Dumbo. She's a bitch. Yep. She's arrogant, like him. Apply generously and stay alive. I just wish this this actually existed. Like, she puts it on her leg. <laughs> Next morning, it's gone. Magic. Like um, the Hunger Games, you wish they were. Oh, God, no. Yeah, but then, would you not say it would be better? No. I think it's that cream when she takes her leg and it's like practically gone. It's like magic stuff. Yeah. That Rue. Love Rue. I think those are tracker jackers. Am I wrong? Oh. Do we get them or not? No. <laughs> Do you want them? No. <laughs> <laughs> tracker jackers, no. Hell no. And you're going to see why. Yuck. Oh. They're horrible. Can't get a bow and arrow. Yeah, but she, I think she's got a couple of times, do you know what I mean? Been stung a couple That's of it, times, yeah. isn't she? So she's yeah. hallucinating now. Bow and arrow, grab it. Look at the state of the girl's face and her small, hands. Thank you. Who's put that on her arm? Who's put the dock leaves on her hands? She probably did, didn't she? And that was another tribute, I reckon. Or the little girl. Rue. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Here. Thanks. Is all of that true? What? You and him. <laughs> Here, watch this. Do you get it? Mm hmm What? But the coded scene so they can tell each other. Yeah, right. but what do you mean? But the like the subliminal message of it is if one person makes a noise, they can push a message and it will spread. Red across. Do you yeah. see what? Yeah. I mean, she's good with a bow. She could pick them off one by one. Well, this is what I'm trying to figure out. Why aren't she doing that? Maybe she's afraid. But she doesn't want to kill anyone. 
Maybe, yeah. Oh, she hasn't killed anyone yet, has no. she? No. That's what it is then. She certainly figured it out, hasn't she? But she's the one that done all the, on the screen earlier. Oh, yeah, the ginger girl. Not very smart, him, is he? <laughs> so then no one will have food. Yeah, right? but it's exploded, so she grab bits. Oh, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly killed herself in the process, but yeah, really clever. Oh, he's too thick to look round. Look, bless his heart. Nope, killed him. One down. They're so wicked. I wonder if Mockingjays really do that. Good girl. Oh no. Did you blow up the food? Every bit of it. The soft green pill. Poor oh, little Roo. I like little Roo. She you saved her, man. You cry at everything, didn't you? Fuck off. <laughs> no, but it's like when it's kids and that, I get upset. No, you just cry. Rue saved her. Is that the district we little girl was from? Yeah. She's going to be a hero, though, isn't she? Who? Rue? Mm. No. Katniss. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because she's helped someone from another district as well. Yeah. And it's like the power of the people against yeah. the system. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. It's, and it shouldn't be like that in the first place. No. It should all be equal. Yeah. But it ain't. That's the way it is. That's why I was right. No, because that's <laughs> the way the world is. Right, ladies and gentlemen, for this one, we're going to have to end it there with um, Rue's death. We've watched the whole film, but the SD card run out on the camera. So, well, learning curves, learning curves with this camera. So what we're going to do is go through the good, the bad, and then the rating. So we've just got the recording up to there, I'm afraid. So what would you say you enjoyed about this movie? The clothing. Oh, yeah, you liked the clothing, didn't you? I did like the clothing. The clothing was good. I thought the costumes, particularly in the city, I thought that was... With bright, vibrant, funky colours and shoes and dresses, hairstyles, flowers in the hair. I love Jennifer Lawrence very much so. And the reason I wanted to do this on here was because I've seen these movies loads of times. My sister hasn't. And I wanted to make sure that I got them on the channel just so I could talk about it and just say how much I love these characters. In terms of the bad, what is it in particular that you didn't like about this? Some of the copy things, but I've said this in other videos that we've done. I felt it was very kind of gladiator style storyline. And there was the American one, The Purge, where they yeah, go around yeah, and they just yeah. kill people for no reason. Well, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? Apparently so. I'm just saying, like, it's fun, isn't it? So, if you say so. In terms of a rating, what would you give it? Mm, seven. I think that's about fair for the first movie. I mean, I. I would give this a much higher rating. I'd say ten out of ten, just because I love them so much. I do. I love. Really? The, I love these films, honestly. I, you I, couldn't think. So a ten out of ten makes it the best it could be. It couldn't be improved. I think it could be improved, but I went into this when I first watched this film. I put it off like you because I thought I was going to hate it. Yeah. So I had such low expectations of it. When I came away after watching it, I was like, I love that. I didn't expect to get upset about Rue. Like when Rue died. Everything. Whatever. When Rue died, and it just, and when I've watched all of them, I've just found myself. This is one of those franchises I've gone back to again and again and again. Every time I see it pop up, I'm like, I'm going to watch it again. I just, I just love it. 